Welcome to JRM Sweeps. I'm going to do a product review here on this solar powered wireless security camera system from Topia Cam. Let's open the box here and take a look and see what you get. I'm going to get a set of instructions. We'll set those aside. I have two three megapixel cameras. This is the Wi-Fi base station that's going to connect to the router and you're going to get two camera antennas. You'll also get a charging USB adapter as well. Let's talk about some of the key features here on the camera. The cameras are IP65 waterproof and are completely wireless. They are going to be powered by an internal 8 watt battery and they are charged by the solar panels here. If you look right here, they do have sensors which will react to mammals and anything above 86 degrees Fahrenheit. To turn the cameras on, if you look at the back of the solar panel, you will see that you can turn the camera on and off right here. And there's also a charging port. What you'll want to do is charge these for at least five hours before you mount them outside. I do like the fact that not only are the solar panels adjustable, but the mounting base itself is. Installing the antennas are really easy to do. You can see here that the antenna is also adjustable as well. Another feature that I really like about these is that each camera has a built-in microphone and loudspeaker for two-way communication via the CloudEye app. An awesome feature is that the videos can also be saved to a micro SD card. Now that's not included with the kit, but then you'll just simply put your micro SD card right here and that option to save will be available through the app itself. And you'll also get free cloud storage for 30 days. If you have a micro SD card, you'll simply turn it over like this. You'll find this part of the base station. You simply press that in until you hear it. Click. And if you want to remove it, when you go to hook it up, you're going to need an Ethernet cord and then the power cord that you saw earlier in the video. That's what we're going to use to power this base station. I'm ready to open the app. You'll need to allow, agree. Now what you'll need to do is you will need to register for a new account. So you'll need to put in your information here. Okay, so this is what it should look like when you have everything plugged into your router. So on the back of my router here, I have a cable going from LAN 1, and then it just plugs right into the back here. Okay, with the app open, we're going to add smart device. We are going to scan the QR code here on the base station using the iPad here. So once that is done, we're going to tap add. We'll give it a name. And we are successfully linked up there. And if you look right here, this is the free cloud storage that you get for 30 days. After the cameras have been turned on, we need to remove these two screws here. There's going to be a reset button that we'll need to press. And then we'll be able to sync these up to the base station. With the cameras turned on, I'm going to hold down the far left button on each camera here. And that's going to do a reset. And when you see that red blinking light, now we're ready to go over to the router. On the back of the router, we're going to hold down the sync button. Now the cameras are paired up to the base station. 